Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's vlog. So, today I am performing at my convocation, which is essentially just like a fancy word for like a student recital type thing. I'm gonna be dressed kind of insane, crazy person. At least for me because if you if you follow my instagram or if you've seen any of my other videos you know that i tend to dress very preppy and girly but the character that i am portraying through my song is definitely not preppy definitely not girly so i am not gonna look like myself today so the song that I'm singing is Bad Cinderella from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella, which is a newer musical. And this is kind of what Cinderella looks like in that production. And so I'm not going to go like all out, but I'm going to go pretty out. I'm going to be dressed pretty crazy and everybody else is going to be dressed semi-nice. And then I'm going to go in there looking looking not as nice so it is currently 10 7 i need to leave at 12 so i have two hours ish i already have my outfit picked out it's something that i would never wear and my makeup is gonna be outrageous so here's what i'm working with so I have this leather jacket that I'm gonna keep unzipped and I have this brown dress. It's not even that ugly, but like everybody else in the musical wears um, colorful things and she wears dark things and I have my fishnets. It's makeup time. Now this is where it gets interesting. Just finished putting on my foundation and concealer and all that jazz and now it's time to get funky with my eyeshadow and my eyeliner so this is gonna be quite interesting guys this is the best invention ever you just wipe the eyeshadow off your brush on here and it's good as new so first i'm going to be taking this bright ass ugliest green color that i would never wear and I'm slapping it all over my eyelid and in the corner of my eye. And it, the goal is for it to be obnoxious and ugly. And because I'm moving around on stage, I'm going to spray it with some e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Because that'll help the, um, the eyeshadow stay pigmented on my face. And it'll help it apply easier. I'm going to make sure that I bring contact solution with me today because when you wear a crap ton of makeup as I am doing today, it might get in your contacts or it might hurt your eyes and you might need to take out your contacts and fix them. Now that the green is literally a mess all over my eyes, I'm going to clean it up. I use this literally all the time. Before I take off my makeup using a makeup wipe every night, I use this for my eye makeup because I know it's going to be a freaking mess. I'm so excited to see how upset my dad's going to be. He's constantly telling me with like my everyday makeup, like, it is too much. So today he's going to shit himself. You know when you're doing your eyeliner and you mess up and then you try and fix it by making all of your eyes that big well that's kind of the goal today so i can mess up as much as i like i have this fabulous eyeliner stencil and i'm gonna put it against my eye because usually i mess it up and then i have to make it bigger but it'll help make sure that they are even my eyeliner of choice is this elf expert liquid liner in jet black first i'm going to do my eyelid a little bit so i can try and figure out how to connect the wing to the eyeliner 
And I keep going in with the remainder foundation on this sponge and fixing up my forehead because I am getting lines. And I don't want lines on my face. See, that's, that's looking pretty good. That's the way I was hoping it goes. This one's a little higher than the other one, but it's fine because her whole thing is I don't care about how I look. I mean, most people probably won't notice that they're not exactly the same. I actually get compliments quite frequently. How do you get your makeup exactly the same? And the answer to that is I do not. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna have to set all my eyeliner with black eyeshadow because if I don't, my face will just black everywhere. I'm gonna put a little bit of this chapsticky thing. It's the Baby Lips Dry Doctor Rescue. I'm pretty sure the lipstick I'm wearing is matte. It's called Fascinate Me, and it looks like this. My makeup looks pretty good if you don't focus your eyes. Set it with powder. This is an e.l.f. small angled brush. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. Ooh. Me have good self-esteem? No. Just think it looks decent and i'm showing two different types of mascara first i'm doing the maybelline sky high mascara in waterproof black thingy and then the l'oreal telescopic mascara in waterproof I look crazy perfect okay so this is kind of the final look minus my boots I love the makeup it looks so cool <laughs> I know that I look like absolute shit and the reason for that is that I feel like absolute shit so I performed and it wasn't super good. It was not super bad. The amount of people who were performing today was very small. So it was just a couple people. I was like the third or fourth person. I didn't do good on everything. There are definitely things I could have improved on. And if you are a performer and you think your performance was perfect, you're probably lying to yourself because either that or you have really good self-esteem, unlike me. My voice teacher was very, very proud of me. I was stopped in the hall by some random people telling me how good I was. And I'm just like, you oh, wasn't that good, mate. Then afterwards, I went out got a pizza, came home, ate the entire whole last pizza, and then proceeded to go into a, a sleeping food coma. And now it's nine o'clock and I just woke up from that. And that's why my makeup looks like shit, but it's fine because I'm not planning on reapplying it. I'm pretty sure this video was probably boring as hell. But there you go, that's my life. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'd like to remind you that kindness inspires kindness and that you are wanted, you are loved, and you are valid. Peace out.